Now we're joined by entrepreneur and charity founder Bernadette Suarez, whose journey to success through beauty is now empowering individuals to let their light shine. Welcome, Bernadette. Thank you. Lovely to have you here. Now, 14 years ago, you were a stay-at-home mum. Let me just paint the picture. You've got three kids, and you created your first beauty product, which was bodies, body sugaring wax on your stovetop. So you're at home, and you're, you're stirring. Now you've got four <laughs> beauty brands. You're at home stirring this product on your stovetop. I mean, did you ever think then that you'd be where you are now with these four brands and this incredible, successful business? I didn't uh, think about the four brands. I knew that the product I had was going to be successful. In fact, I think I remember uh, telling some of my friends early on, oh, this product is going to go around the world. And I think a few of them looked at me and thought the fumes from the stove must have got to me. <laughs> so. Yeah, so I kind of had belief in it, but definitely not to where it is now, yeah. Because you're a full-time mum, and now you're the director of a very successful company. That, that's a giant leap, isn't it? I mean, what was the journey? Oh, you know, as, as in any entrepreneurial journey, it has its ups and downs, and uh, but yeah, but obviously you have to have more ups and less downs, and that's so obviously all good for business. But uh, yeah, so it's been, I started off with one product, as you know, and, um, and then uh, a few years later, I actually teamed up with a group of uh, investors and for a couple of years that she ran the business with them and that's how I got uh, more brands on board mm -hmm. uh, just so just quickly um, and in, in uh, 2010 um, my husband and myself we bought the other three investors out so um, so since 2010 we owned the company 100 percent and um, yeah it's been onwards and upwards it's been onwards and upwards obviously yeah. building your skills was very important because you were you feeling a little bit out of your debt so you went back to university and you gained extra um, you got degrees there mm -hmm. and now since you've got this successful business you've decided that you want to give back a little bit to the community and you've started this charity called let your light shine mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about this yeah I think in life you've always got to do with what you're passionate about and I'm very passionate about business so I just wanted to extend that to charity and um, in a sense I've always wanted to give something back because I've actually received a lot along the way and have lots of great mentors and friends and support. Um, so yeah, so I had this uh, thought, it was it started from actually a speaking engagement uh, that I had in Kawara of all places, I didn't know where it was on the map, but I said don't worry I have a GPS so it'll get me there. You got there, and, good. Uh, got there and uh, yeah, and I from there it led to the opportunity of setting up mentorship programs. So I started off with trying to focus on women but a uh, couple of men said can we be part of it so it's now anyone and and now we're just looking at actually going up north um, because I've got some um, invitations there to do mentorship in the rural towns but in schools high schools as well mm -hmm. and letting so. people letting well, actually as you say letting people letting their light shine that's right it's, it sounds fascinating thank you so much for joining us a uh, really great story and I think if people want more information they can go and check out our website at thecafe.co.nz we'll put it up there